to our channel. Cooking, crafting, and creating, creating chaos. chaos. I'm Stacy. I'm Katie. And today we have our starting of our Halloween crafts. Our set behind us. Can you see it? Can you see it? Looking cute. Got the Halloween and tablecloth. So from now until around Thanksgiving time, November, we are going to do a Halloween craft, cooking, or decoration. Dog hair, sorry. <laughs> and um, today we are doing shrinky dinks. I have never in my entirety of being on planet Earth ever done a shrinky dink. I'm excited, guys. I don't. My sister says I've done it. I don't remember. We got things and stuffs. Uh, so we went to the Dollar Tree and we bought some little packages of cats, <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> Jack-o'-lanterns. Um, these we got at Hobby Bobby. No, these we got at... No. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. These are Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Hobby Lobby. And Dollar Tree. To use as our stencils. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to show you how to create your own shrinky dink, which you can turn into magnets, pins, keychains, about anything you could possibly want. Instructions. Trace, color, cut out, punch holes, bake. Got it. <laughs> Preheat oven to 325 degrees. Put it on parchment or tin foil pan. Put the shrinky dink pieces, color side up. And watch it shrink one to three minutes. So which side do you color on? This one's rough. Okay. And one's Don't soft. Do that. Don't do that. So this is the rough and ready because that means you don't have to. Uh, why do I want to say shave? Sand. Sand. I guess because your legs are rough and ready to be shaved. <laughs> uh, you color the rough side, I believe. She does. Color any colored pencils. Work on shrinky dink. Please. So. I, I googled it. Said you can use sharpies. We're gonna so use sharpies. And um, if it doesn't work, then we know. You can who use blind. acrylic paints and markers, but do not use watercolor markers or crayons. Trace on the slick side of the plastic with a permanent alcohol-based ink pen, and color on the opposite side. Oh, okay. So you trace on the shiny side, and you color on the really gross rough side. Got it. Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh. I get it. Sorry, I had a moment. And I want to do a pumpkin. Well, fine, I'll do a ghost. Hey. What? So, do you have Oh, it to, comes with little string strings. So do you have to, uh, anywhere on the paper you can trace it? Anywhere on the paper. It doesn't say, like, so put it in the corner and don't waste. I'm, this what I'm doing. Jeez. I should have a lot of, I don't need well, you know, I guess <laughs> any of them will work. I'll, I'll use orange since it's a pumpkin. So I've seen these turned into many, 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 many things. Um, Keychain. But since these actually came with string, you'll be seeing them. We will hang them. Oh, yeah. um, one of the videos we plan on doing before... Oh before our fall Thanksgiving stuff. Um, we're going to decorate. We're going to cook some Halloween type food. This is where pointy Sharpies come in handy. You said Sharpie. I said Sharpie. Okay, so I have traced my ghost, which is not that difficult. And then you color on the rough side? Yes. So I'm really not sure what to do here because ghosts are white or clear and... Well, you don't have to color it. Well, we're going to color in the eyes Ooh. to make it ghost-like. I was reaching for the bottom of the cap. It wasn't even on the thing. Okay. Yay, coloring. And then I'm going to trace back over Ooh. his body. Um, we'll get some close-ups here in just a bit. We're just going to show you kind of what we're doing here. And then... Um, I could have technically, because there are pumpkins on the tablecloth. I didn't think of this. I could have just used one of them. 
Yeah. Oh, well. So what we'll do is we'll get these traced and cut out, and then the next ones we do, we will bring you in for a close-up view. Yeah. All right, guys. So I did this shrinky dink in our uh, toaster oven. Words, I know them. And I'm going to put some dim mag Padge Dimensional Magic, this stuff, to seal it in. So the other ones are out of the oven. They are just, we have got them out of the oven and placed a flat cookie sheet on top of them. So while they cool, they don't curl up. We will show you the finished product soon. Um, I am tracing some witch's legs to do next. It kind of looks like Katie's. Ha ha ha, very funny. And I'm going to let the dimensional magic dry. And I'm going to scooch it out of... Oh, there is a... Just... So I'm going to try to freehand a little here. <laughs> freehand. Alright, so my pumpkin has stuff. Um, I'm going to grab one of these. What do we got here? These are scratching... Not scratching sniffs. <laughs> the, the stick... Scratch art candy. Boo. Another pumpkin. Oh, I'm really coloring and I'm not supposed to be. An owl. And a cat. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like the pumpkin. But Look, I already screwed this up. I think I'm going to do candy. It says trace on the color side. I don't want to. So I'm not going to do helps if you don't put your orange pumpkin on top of the orange pumpkins while you're trying to. I'm not sure what else you could do to a ghost since they're white. Um, I'm wondering if I should do, I'm going to write boo. Boo boo from your river. Anyways, you can kind of see I just wrote boo. I am going to reach across and stab her because she's disgusting and licks and I'm going to cut it out. Now, you can either cut it out a little ways from where Leave you have uh, traced or you can cut right on it. Um, it now, just depends. You also don't have to trace if you have the ability and the talents with which to freehand. You can do that too. Now this is a great craft for um, kids. They really enjoy it. Um, from our last craft, as you can see, there was a lot of parent involvement. This this, this requires minimal parent minimal. I mean, if you trust your kid, I mean, you could even buy the safety scissors for them to cut it out. Um, the only involvement you would need is putting it into the hot oven. Yeah, and getting them out. <clears throat> Just a coloring in the pumpkin. So while we're doing this, I have to get something off my chest. We are going to uh, confession time. It's the have tea. Com confession tea, but we don't have tea. We have Sonic Diet Dark Peppers. Yeah, I would have tea. Weeks ago, um, I don't know. We were going to end up doing something, so we didn't have time to cook dinner. So I went through a Little Caesars pizza. 
and I drove up to order and I was told that they do not have any cheese. They have cheese. And it, it, it would exactly, hello, welcome to Little Caesars. I need to inform you that we are out of cheese. I can help you with wings or crazy bread. Are you interested in any of those? Or a cheeseless pizza. Yeah, or cheeseless pizza. So I just had to ask, you know, it's just one of those things. How does a pizza joint run out of cheese? So I had to ask, you have cheese? And she yes, said, yes, ma'am. But you can also have a cheeseless pizza or wings or breadsticks. And I was like, no, it's okay. I will go somewhere else. Thank you. Well, yesterday, <laughs> I was so excited. We, uh, our local Burger King got the Impossible uh, Burger. The Impossible Burger. We like um, Gardein and we like Beyond Burger, so we wanted to try it. So I go to pick up the Impossible Burger and I get to the drive-thru and the girl comes on the thing and welcome says, Welcome Burger. Burger King, can I take your order? And I said, Yes, I would like two of the Impossible Burgers, please. And she said, I'm sorry, ma'am, we're out of those. And I said, oh, you're out of the Impossible Burger? I thought, oh, no, yeah, no, no big deal. It's kind of like the uh, Popeye's chicken. You know, you ran out. It's a new thing. Everybody wants it. No, she said. We are out of all burgers. You can Not have just the Impossible Burger. All burgers. You can have chicken or tacos. tacos. I didn't even know Burger King made tacos, okay? So much for being Burger King. So, again... Thinking maybe I heard wrong, I said, so you don't have Impossible Burgers? No, ma'am. All burgers. All of them. Okay. I mean, and I just had to sit there and laugh for a moment. You are a burger joint. You have burger in the name of your restaurant. And you are out of burgers? Yes, ma'am. I'm just really in shock. I don't know if it's just... Maybe they weren't technically out of them. I'm hoping like something was wrong with their broiler or their refrigerator. I don't know. But I'm just still in shock. I just had to get that off my she chest. She calls me laughing. And I was like, what is it? She goes, so Burger King is out of the Impossible Burger. And I was like, okay, no surprise there. whoop de woo And she goes, no, 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 no. They're out of all burgers. She told me I could have chicken or tacos. Oh, I'm drawing on the wrong side. Um, see, I'm all worked up now about my Impossible. So, when I got home, I let everyone know that wanted to try the Impossible Burger. It was literally an Impossible Burger. It was impossible to get. Are you still doing your yes, jack o lantern yes, I mean, it really shouldn't take that long. Oh, Dad. You, you distracted me. I'm trying to make sure that my book it looks okay. I've Welcome back, fellas. So, I decided that um, I didn't want my ghost to be clear. And um, I had our camera woman find me a white crayon. Yeah, I can't really see it, but I'm guessing once this book is baked, it should show up as at least a little white instead of just I'll clear. I made a blue one. Um, another Not thing best artistic that I noticed using the permanent magic markers is that they do bleed a little bit. Not enough to really matter. Um, and they do soak in. So I went back over each of my ghosts, traced around them, just to make sure that um, they stay defined. Really sure. Yeah, I mean, we use this random hunk of plastic. The good thing I is can. I can hold it up and see where I've missed and where I haven't missed. I'm going to give it an outline even though technically ghosts are just ectoplasmic spiritual view floating through the air. <laughs> no boundaries. You know. Okay. Some of them I wrote boo on. Some I've left plain. This is what I'm thinking. So, one of our videos, we will be decorating um, our fireplace mantle and bookshelves yes. for Halloween. Mm -hmm. So, I figured maybe since these came with strings, we can kind of hang them across the fireplace. That looks a little better with an outline. Now, it says you punch holes, but I, it doesn't. How? 
We have a hole puncher somewhere. Punch holes. If you wish to punch holes in your shrinky dink pieces before you bake them, remember, holes shrink too. Standard sized paper hole punch is ideal. Um, we have one of those somewhere. I will find it and we'll punch holes I in a little bit. I one of those. We'll get a hole puncher. So, I guess I could do a cat. I don't know. Should I do a cat? I guess I'll do a cat. Look, Katie, just do something. Oh my god. You know, this partnership, yeah, with this attitude is going to run its course. That's a toot. Okay, so at one point in time in my life, I had one of these at a fine point. It has since disappeared. And there is a hair, a dog hair. You really got a lot of dog hair. Do you just lick it? No. You, you just get down there and oh, I don't know why it's stuck there, but it is. Should I do a black cat? Should I do an orange cat? I think you should do a green one and then we'll tell everybody it ate your cooking. So this is very um, easy and easy peasy lemon squeezy. And you do doesn't take a lot of thought. So if you just want something to mind numbing occupy your time, <laughs> it's not mind numbing. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm rude. The, it's kind of relaxing in a way because you really don't have to think about it. You just do it. And um, oh, that's a terrible. Okay, so this black marker is not going to work. I'm going to reach and stretch for a pencil bag in the hopes that I find something that's pointy. I hope it doesn't matter that, you know, when you color, you try to go all in the same direction. So do I? Good. Do, 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 because do. I am not. <laughs> Pishel! I found a pistol. You know. All right, I'm going to cut out the remainder of my ghost. I am leaving. It says trace on one side, but I'm... Breaking the rules. I am um, going to leave a little right. bit in my border just because, you know, my ghost is white. At least my border has color and will define it a little bit. Um, but again, that's just personal preference. You could do whatever you want. Yes. Oh, okay. I just cut his little butt off a little bit, but that's okay. My cat's going to have some leg problems that I'm going to have to fix. If you cut their butt off a little bit and you get your outline um, thin, it's all right. You can just kind of go fill it in. There's no right or wrong. That's um, what we keep telling ourselves. I don't know what happened to the first situation. ghost I did. Okay, so you can use crayons. You can use colored, pencil. colored pencils, permanent magic markers. Um, I think paint. Certain paints. Yes, yeah, it said paint, so I'm going to fill it. And I'm not a good painter. Probably should stay far away from paint. I would love to learn to paint. Um, Bob Ross makes it look very simple. I know. Bob Ross is like, look at that. Mistake. We'll turn that mistake into a bird. Happy little birds. It's a happy little mistake bush. And I'm over here, and it looks like freaking kindergarten craft home. I don't know. I don't look. Mine would be, we'll turn that mistake into a happy little bird. And then all the children around me crying, oh my god, she massacred a bird. Are you sure that's supposed to be a bird, ma'am? It's questionable at best. Well, this is just an outline of a cat, but I don't like how I just have like one ear. But I'm not an artist, so I don't know how to make it have a second ear and not look like it's like, you know, Quasimodo cat. Um. Oh, another thing you got to be careful with. Um, so far, we have not done this. You can crack the plastic. Okay, one more. One more big one. <laughs> I was about to say that. One big one. That is a reference from My Big Fat Greek Wedding. One I don't know what I've just done to this cat. Favorite movies. 
but shh. So what we'll do, we'll get these cut out. We'll come back once we get them on the pan. We'll put them on a pan to get them in the oven because we still haven't even preheated our oven. That's the chaos. We don't ever have things ready to go. Oh to my lord. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I can't wait to show you guys this cat because you're gonna be like, oh my lord. It kind of, sorry, we have some typical. <laughs> she does. Really? Like I said, I'm not good at fighting. Not sure. dry. Mom, I'm not really sure what kind of method you used to put the dimensional magic on some of these, but you know. Cool. Um, some of those were um, sketchy. No, <laughs> somebody set something on top oh, of them. Oh, okay. So a couple of these, like these two, were um, designs from the table that we traced and they turned out really cute. I did this pumpkin off of one of the other pumpkins and he kind of looks like a basketball. I was really happy with the way that my witch feet turned out, even though they're funky, but they're pretty cool. I think my favorite are probably the ghost. I made a little ghost couple. He has a bow tie and she has a little hair bow. And then I have one with glasses, one with a monocle, She's got a bow. My mom did some of these. They have boo on them. And then I love I love how this candy turned out. It looks like stained glass. It does. I think it is super duper cute. And I'm gonna put a pin back on it and on some of my ghosts because and my pumpkins because I think and the really owl cool. turned out pretty cute. This was supposed to be a blue ghost, but he just looks like a blue blob. He's really sad. I really like the way the pumpkins look transparent. Mm -hmm. They're really cool. So this is Derpy Cat. He looked super duper derpy before he got shranky danked, and now he just looks slightly less derpy, but still derpy, I ne nevertheless. I don't know where you got the word derpy from. How have you never heard the word derpy? Boo. Camera lady did a donut. Kind of looks like, I don't know if you hold it the other way, it kind of looks like blood or something. Mm -hmm. So my husband, we made him come and he free-handed Gene, Gene Simmons from, from Kiss. Kiss. It turned out super cool. <laughs> you like my new look? It's right. party, isn't it? So, this cat was with Halloween stuff, but when I did it, it just looks really cute. It's like a little vampire cat thing, but it's really cute. I, I just got like to say that it's so cute. I know. I love Shrinky dinks are really fun, guys. Um, I thought they were going to be goofy, and I really wouldn't like it. But to be honest with you, it was very relaxing. It was a lot of fun. I see us doing them a lot more. Actually, we took a break um, <laughs> while our dimensional magic was drying and went to Target and bought some new markers <laughs> just we so have, we could do some more. If Hobby Lobby wouldn't have been closed, we would not We would have went and got more of the shrinky dink paper. I almost said the scratch and shrink, shrinky dink paper. We have three sheets left. And I'm going to, because it says that you can use um, acrylic paints and the instructions, and I have a bunch of acrylic paints. I'm going to try one of those, and I will update on Facebook and um, let you guys know how that turned out. But it was a lot of fun. I think kids would really, really love this one. Um, adults. Really, really loved this really one. Really loved this one. I and see we're going to continue to play with them. Yeah. We're gonna get some pin backs because my little ghost couple with their little bows are gonna be pins and a couple of my pumpkins are gonna be pins. And um, I see us probably doing this maybe for Thanksgiving, definitely for Christmas yes. because you can put them 
on your Christmas stockings, tree. on Christmas trees, in the stockings as a gift because you can customize things. So the Gene Simmons here would be perfect Christmas tree ornament yes. size. Um, I mean, it was so drawn cool. pretty large. That's one thing, you know, I mean, they shrink up a lot. So the, you've seen befores so and afters. The Gene Simmons took up the entire page. And that's how and big this it is. And this is what he shrank down. So keep to. that in mind. So. I yes. mean, they, they shrink up a lot, so, you Like, know. I mean, the ghosts started out this size, mm -hmm. and then they ended up this size. But it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm excited to play with some of them with, um, my paints, and... So, our next video, of course, will be Halloween-themed. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure yet what we're gonna be doing, if we're gonna be baking something, mm -hmm. or we're gonna be doing more crafts. Um, because all of these things that we bought for templates can be painted yes. or decorated. So hand me that stencil. So there is no telling what we'll end up doing next so, time. So to give you guys another idea of how much they shrink, this cloud right here, I don't know if you guys can see how big that is, um, was used to make a cloud and that's, that's how big it came out to be. So just as another reference point. But there's so they are fun. They are. You should really go get some. You should. You should try it. Mm -hmm. It's very fun. It is. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yep. Yep. I think mm -hmm. we said that it's fun. I think so. I think yes! it's, it's funny. Uh -huh. It's really funny. That it's it relaxing. Fun it is. It's, it's relaxing. It's kind of cathartic. Okay, guys. Well, that's our video yeah. this time. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share. and share. And don't forget in the baking videos how to enter our giveaway contest. Yeah. So watch that. So make Part sure you're baking two. one and two because if you don't, you won't get the rules and then you're going to be left out and then you're going to be butt hurt. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.